dreams are born and the doubts die. You guys know what this amazing plan is? Comment below. So far, I don't know. But it's got pretty tall pretty quickly, and it looks like to me a type of fern. It had the curl, the curliness at the fern top. See, it's still uncurling here. Well, here's the evidence that it's a type of fern. Here it is at the bottom. Velvety and curly. And here it is at the top. Open up. Such cool sounds. I feel like I'm going back into the ancient times of the dinosaurs. So the Jurassic and Triassic periods. Many, many epochs ago. So, there's an update from a few weeks ago from a previous vlog. The seeds you put in the ground are now growing. Look at the side of some sunflowers. So, it's been a lot of rain lately. And I can't wait till everything gets larger. And then we can harvest. But so far, everything is looking good. What beauty. So today, the main mission is we're making some gluten-free biscuits. Shout out to Takashi69 for dropping his new Gooba video. So we're gonna call these the Gooba biscuits. Let's get to it. Live gluten-free or live chief free So here's the recipe in the back. We're gonna have two cups of Live G baking mix, one fourth cup of shortening, two thirds cup of milk, three large eggs, and what you do is preheat the oven to 400. So as of now, I got the oven already preheating, and then we're gonna get to the ingredients with the measuring cups here and get that into this mixing bowl. So the first task is to pour the mix into the bowl that my little niece is holding. So let's get that done. We need two cups of the milk. Add some sugar. Add some sugar. <laughs> no sugar in this one. Oh, would that right? Yeah. Oh, it is about right. Hold on to that. Papa, look. Okay. Pour Try to get that to an even flat surface so we know we got the right amount. Get a tad now bit more. In the bowl. Wait, not yet. Okay. 
So that's about the right amount. Let's get that sifted so it's even on the surface. Now put it in the bowl. Wait, hold on. Wait one moment. Okay, Amaya, now pour it in the bowl. No! Oh. <laughs> Good job. Pour it, pour it. Right, now let's get the second cup in there. No. So, now we have the flour in here. We have two cups of flour. The second thing we do is, it says cut shortening into mix using fork until particles are the size of small peas. Stir in remaining ingredients until soft dough forms. So, the second ingredient is shortening. So oh, we'll get one third cup of shortening into that flour. I had to do something. So we're gonna take one third cup of shortening right here and put that into our flour. The uh, shortening looks a little sticky, so what I like to do is use a butter knife to kind of smooth out the top and leave the excess back uh, into the container. The excess off the top with the butter knife, we can place that into the mix. Put this into the mix using our butter knife. This one! So now that we got the shortening inside of uh, the, uh, the flour, the rice flour, the directions are to stir it until it's pea size. And then after that, we add the remaining of the remainder of the ingredients. So let's do that. It says a fork, I, you could definitely use a whisk. Here's my niece here, she's using a whisk to get the product stirred into a pea size. And then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. How you doing there? It's good. It's good? Okay, that's good. They're good. For a while, we got it to about pea size, and now we're ready to add the milk and the eggs. Let's get to that. Can you add that? I have a one-third measuring cup, so we're gonna take two of these to make it two-thirds cups. So let's add that in there. Now we're gonna add eggs, and we're gonna take the egg and crack it here on the edge. My niece is gonna help her out. Come on, let's do it. We're gonna add that in there. <laughs> there we go. Yay! Yay. Can we the ingredients all in the bowl. What we do now is you mix it up, and then we take spoonfuls of that and drop those into the cookie sheet. So my spoon of choice for mixing into dough is a wooden spoon, and then we're gonna Take this and plop them onto the cookie sheet, which is right here. You have the biscuit safety on a cookie rack, and here's my niece here with her oven mitts. Trust me, guys, I will not let her put them in the oven, but uh, she's kind of ready to do it. <laughs> she's begging me to, but she can't. So now let's get these babies in the oven. I already had it preheated to 400. All right, now we get the timer set to 16 minutes. And let's press start. And get that going. In 16 minutes, we'll have some gluten-free, delicious homemade biscuits. Are you excited? Because I am. There they are, dear near bacon. So the timer is running down, and it actually said um, 13 to 16 minutes. Right now, it's about 13 minutes, and it looks like the biscuits are browning. So let's get them out. I made dirt. Perfectly done. And ready to eat. Yeah, that's looking beautiful. So we're gonna get these out. Let's try them. So now I'm gonna give the royal taste test myself is actually I guess it could be cold keto as well but it's gluten free made with rice flour. It's pretty good. I was just to add some butter. So we're gonna get my brother here to try a keto biscuit, see how he likes it. How's that taste? Okay. 
see. So okay, try it at home. Let me know how you like it. Comment down below. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. See you soon. See you next video. That's made up, baby, that's made